tiden här. Jag går om jag har gått om kolla. Jag vill att tänka deputy Brian Stanley för bringing this motion forward and all of us who are rural TDs in particular uh, will be very taken by the debate that has taken place here because we live there and we know the consequences of the closure of the post office are to small villages because if you close the post office you effectively close the only pub that's there probably and the only shop so your the knock on effect is quite significant and all this is done in the name of viability they're no longer viable this wonderful world that's been used by on post and used by uh, by, by by the government uh, they're no longer viable but what is viability what about social viability what about the viability of elderly people who live in the community, like we were down in, along with the, the Deputy Healy raised the two of them uh, during the week, uh, down in Ballinskellix? Ballinskellix is about 14 miles away from Carcerine. It's a peninsula. And it's, uh, there was, uh, I suppose there was nearly 400 people there, if it was counted people who was locked out, couldn't get in. Uh, and they, didn't, they know the viability of that, of that post office, the viability it was this. The closure of that, the closure of Master Giga, two post offices that are in a Gaeltric area, the only Gaeltric area in South Kerry, have been closed. Now, oh, Minister, that is a nice statement to give to those who are trying to promote the Irish language uh, and trying to ensure that it survives, and doing a very good job there down there, because it was very heartening to see the conversation that took place at that meeting, both in Oskelga as well as in, in English, but uh, in particular Oskelga. Uh, and these, uh, these the, the people that are going to lose their, their post office, there's a, one shop, there's a pub, there's a community centre, there will be a knock-on effect. The same in Master Giga, the same in Bally Longford, the same in my van. The 16 post offices choose to close, due to close and carry on this grave word viability. So, Minister, but you, the, I was very taken by Deputy uh, Seamus Heaney's uh, uh, presentation here when he spoke about uh, the, the, the motion that was passed here in 2016. And that motion is within what the papers that is written on, because neither, neither the, the government nor his partner in government, Fianna Fáil, have done nothing about the implementation of it. So that's an, another failing of the political establishment in this state. What could be done for the, the survival of post offices? Community banking has been mentioned to ensure that the uh, social welfare payments are, are paid out of there. To ensure as well as we've done here in, uh, in 2000 and, and, uh, 2011, uh, when Deputy Angus Osnardig, he asked the Minister to pay by electric fund transfer for all involved in state payments. Uh, an excellent idea, particularly all those. There was 80,000 people involved in this and, and, and social and community work within, the, within, the, within rural Ireland. And for all of those were paid into the respective post offices, that would be have a, an effect on ensuring their survival or helping them survive. Minister. Community banking is, is another, another way of, of doing that. So, I, I, Minister, it's in your hands and it's in Fianna Fáil's hands to ensure that this, our post oh offices God. are protected. Mr.